Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I hope this message finds you well. I just want to check in with you about something. I just finished working out, so I know I look a little busted, but hey, that's life. Listen, I've been seeing so many posts and memes from um, people who are saying pretty much that they're going to throw their hands up and just sort of trash this year and wait till 2021 to get their life. I don't want that to be you. We all know at least one person or know of one person that didn't make it this far. We can think of all the hundreds of thousands of people who've passed from COVID. We know people who've lost their lives, who've lost you know, their lives in tragedies. There's war going on all over this world right now. So there are people who would be grateful if they could have just seven more days with their loved ones. There are people who would have been grateful if they could have been spared a tragedy or a loss and had an opportunity to be where you are right here, right now. So if you're going to take a vacation, if you're going to take a pause, if you're going to go into stillness, do that with intention. But don't just throw your hands up. you got seven more days. You can read a book in seven days. You can do a juice cleanse in, 20, in seven days. You can do a fitness challenge in seven days. You can reach out and connect with your friends and on the phone, right? Not just through text and not just through DMing them. You could actually make phone calls in seven days. You can volunteer online. There's so many things that you can do. Don't trash these next seven days because the way you end this year is going to be the same way you start that next year, that energy, that give up energy, right? Don't let that be you. You have at least seven more days. You can make a tremendous difference in somebody's life, in your own life, just in that time. Think about all the miracles that we know that have been accomplished in less than seven days. Deepak Chopra wrote one of his most powerful books on a flight from Boston to LA, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. He did that in five hours. So seven days. What can you do in seven days? A lot. So don't trash these years. Don't this these few days. Don't trash them. Don't be disrespectful to those who have passed and lost their lives. Don't be disrespectful to the divine consciousness that gave you an opportunity to wake up this morning and do something different, to learn something new, to grow into something better. You have seven days. Don't waste 